am afraid of my father dying. By which I mean that I'm afraid of my mother living alone in our big house, cradling our dogs to her chest. Not because she thinks it will solve anything, but because sometimes we just need to hold something solid. Congestive heart failure, six arteries, 80 to 100% blocked. He laughs and climbs out of the hospital bed, pulling his robe up around his hips so he can moon the other patients on his daily shuffle around the ICU. I'm afraid of him refusing the heart transplant, refusing the quadruple bypass, refusing to fight the fight. By which I mean that I'm more proud of him than I have ever been. The fight is only for those who have something to be afraid of. He tells the nurse he needs a shower. It's four days later when they finally let him take one, and he steals the plastic glove that protects his IV from the water and hides it in his ceiling tiles. I'm afraid that I will not be able to cry. But we don't cry for the dead, we cry for ourselves. Funerals are just black ribbon parties indulging self-pity because we've lost something. He begins to stockpile cafeteria desserts because they made him fast before his angiogram and he's convinced they're going to starve him again. I'm afraid that this concept of loss will overshadow the reality of dysfunction by which I mean that I love him. But despite what every history book pretends in its text, you don't automatically become a hero when you die. His stubbornly generic act of dying will put someone else on the transplant list, but it won't erase the years of alcoholism he's poured on my family. But what I'm most afraid of is that he lives. By which I mean that you can prepare yourself for a monster running towards you. You can put your hand up and touch its face before it gnashes its teeth around your head. But if he lives, I'm afraid of knowing it's still coming. Except this time, it's a slow crawl and I'm blind. Congestive heart failure isn't something that heals on its own. It's failure. His moonshine eyes water over my entire childhood as he glitches on repeat. Lord, let me die. Take me. And I wish I could say that I'm afraid I will miss him too much but I'm more afraid of forgetting to be sad because he is so happy to be gone. By which I mean that my dad is dying. And it's the best thing that's happened in years.